everyone, this video is a request by Tam Elise. Thank you, Tam. Have you ever wondered why some people are able to manage multiple planners, but for others, it's a constant struggle? Well, in this video, I'm going to reveal how I went from being unable to manage just one planner to being able to manage six planners. I will close my door cause I need my time. Wanna speak so loud even though I hide. And the timestamps for how I manage each of these planners are listed on the screen and also in the description box below. Back in 2015 when I first purchased my first happy planner, I was a mess. I felt paralyzed because I didn't know how to use it and I didn't want to mess it up. But slowly over time, I built up the courage to start experimenting with different layouts and I used that planner for school, for work, for home, and for my YouTube channel. But I quickly realized that, that there was not enough room for me to write down all the tasks in one planner. Today I'm managing six planners. My home planner, my work planner, my social media planner, my faith planner, my meal planner, and my health slash fitness planner. What I have found is that managing multiple planners comes down to setting up a system and then establishing that system as a habit. And I'm not saying that using multiple planners is for everyone. I'm just sharing what works for me because this helps my life to run more smoothly and I love it so far. Let's start with the home planner. I use my home planner every single day. This is kind of the home base for all my planners because it tells me when I need to reference my other planners and it also has my overall schedule. All of my appointments and events that I need to attend go in this planner. There are three main updates that take place to prevent anything from slipping through the cracks. Once a year, once a month, and once a week. The yearly list, which are tasks I want or need to get done that year, is generated on the last Saturday of the year. The monthly list, meaning tasks for that month, is generated on the third Saturday of the month for the following month. And for this, I first do a brain dump, then I color code that brain dump into four categories. Do it, delegate it, delete it, and defer it. Then I add the fixed items to the monthly and weekly, and the flexible items are added to the weekly list. Fixed items are all scheduled items that have a specific time and date assigned to them, and the flexible items are things that can be done at any time. Each Sunday night when I'm planning out my week, I prioritize items within the weekly list for the following week based upon the Eisenhower decision matrix. For more details on the system, please watch my video on how to prioritize and how to plan using a brain dump, which I have linked in the description below. This planner is part of my transformer planner along with my social media and faith planner. I only keep three months at a time in the planner to prevent it from becoming too bulky. So for these planners, I add the new month, the day that I'm updating the following month. So I always have the current month and the next two months available. For the home planner, that would be on the third Saturday of the month. This is a recipes notebook that I've converted into a meal planner. My meal planner is used every evening right before dinner. I use it to generate my shopping list, to house recipes, plan out which meals will be made on what days, and to make sure that we will have all the ingredients that we need on hand when we need them. There are two times during the month where 
this meal planner is updated. The meals are planned out on the last Saturday of the month during the family meeting. And at this same time, the amounts needed, ingredients on hand, unusual ingredient sections, and shopping lists are generated for the first half of the month. On the second Saturday of the month, these sections are updated for the last half of the month. And if you want to learn more about my meal planning or family meeting process, I have those videos linked in the description below. This is my current health slash fitness planner that I update every day with my meals and the exercise that I've done. This is more of a tracker than a planner because I am not actually planning out these activities. They're worked into my routine to automatically do those exercises a certain number of days during the week, but I do want to track the number of calories I'm burning, how long I've run for, or rode the bike for, and what I've eaten in here, and this is very useful for that. So I wouldn't say that I have to update this planner other than just logging what I've done during that day. I am a researcher and I keep my work planner on my desk in the lab where I work. I use this planner Monday through Friday and because it is my work planner, I keep it purely functional. On the last Friday of the month, I write down all of my meetings, events, and when I'm going to be getting samples for processing in the monthly spread for the following month. I also have lab related activities written down on here. So for example, I'm going to a Dodger game with my coworkers on July 6th and I'm going white water rafting with my coworkers. Every week on Friday evening, I plan out the following week. I start by referencing my monthly calendar and transfer the scheduled items over to the weekly. I treat each day like an hourly setup. So Monday represents nine to five, whereas Tuesdays and Wednesdays represent nine to 7.30 ish. It changes week to week. And I'm interviewing someone at 3.20 on Monday. So that is written towards the bottom of the page. Then I schedule in my to-do items around the fixed scheduled ones based on what time I want to work on each task. For example, I want to expand a culture of T-cells after my lab meeting is done on Monday, so I write the task at the top of the day. I also intentionally leave extra spaces because I always have unexpected tasks that come up at work. Then before I leave for the day, I migrate any incomplete tasks into the following day. I use a color coding system, which you'll see a key for in the sidebar to help draw my attention to those high priority items. Lab meetings are in purple, clinical meetings and one-on-one -on -one meetings are in blue, and important experiments that I'm conducting are in green. I use the Saturday and Sunday slots to house my sticky notes. One of the sticky notes is a checklist of data analyses I need to complete that week. And the second sticky note is a running to-do list. I usually write tasks that can be completed at a later unassigned time on this list. And these are both on sticky notes so they can be transferred to the following week if I wasn't able to complete all of the tasks on those lists so that I don't have to keep rewriting those tasks over and over again. This is my faith planner and every morning during quiet time, I fill out my soap activity, my gratitude and my reframing sections in here. And this only needs to be updated once a month with my Bible reading plan in the monthly section. I use my social media planner every single day to plan out what I need to do for Instagram, my YouTube channel, Facebook, and my website. On the first Sunday of the month, I plan my video posting schedule for the following month. And I do this in advance because some videos take several weekends to film. On Sunday evening, I plan out the following week, which days to edit, when to record audio, what photos I need to take, video content development, what and where to post, etc. 
all those tasks that are associated with keeping my social media platforms going and I make sure that there are reminders in my home planner as to when I need to reference my social media planner. On the first Sunday of the month, I update the social media monthly section. As we used to do. No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't the last Friday of the month, I update my work monthly. So many years gone by. Like 68% of those who participated in my survey said that they have more than one planner and 22% have four or more planners. So it seems that a lot of us have various life categories that we want to keep track of and we need more than one planner to do so. We are coming here together with a common goal. Not only are we passionate about planners, and planning, but we're looking for a system that works for us so that we can become the best versions of ourselves. And I am so excited that you are on this journey with me. Please do me a huge favor and share this video with anyone who you think may benefit from these ideas and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye! Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? and told so why didn't you why didn't you call so many